Hey you guys, this is the Uber Sashimi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get N64 on your computer. The program we're going to be working under is Project 64, and it's a 1.6 build, the most updated one. I'm also going to be showing you how to download your ROMs and open them up under Project 64. And then the last thing we'll be showing is how to configure your Xbox 360 controller to Project 64 so you don't have to play with a keyboard because it's nigh on impossible without it. Go ahead and bring up Google and search Project 64. Click on the second link and it will automatically download it for you. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel on it. I've already got it downloaded. Just go ahead and set it up, install it, and there's no registry for it. We're going to go ahead and minimize this so I can just show you what this looks like again. Uh, also, you might want to save all your ROMs that we're about to go look up to your desktop so they'll be easier to find. Go and open up this page again and go to a website called dohgames.com. D O H games.com. This site does have quite a few pop ups, but they're not virus holding. It's completely safe. Just click X on them. Go ahead and click on ROMs and then go down to N64. I'm going to do a popular one, the first one I got. A lot of people get their N64 emulators solely because of this game, so let's go ahead and go get Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh lol, all the pop-ups. site used to not be like this, actually. Um, go ahead and click this. It'll download automatically for you. If you don't have WinRAR, which you should, um, go ahead and get it so you can unzip the file and bring it back to your desktop. I'm not going to download it just because you know, it'll take just a little bit of time. Um, should take about three or four minutes but I don't want to make you guys watch that. Alright, whenever you're done you'll have an archive file. Unarchive it and extract it and you should come up with a file that looks like this. Go ahead and drag this out here so you guys can see. Uh, Project 64 usually opens up uh, quite a few different files, v64, z64, and also uh, ROM files. Those are usually the most popular types that it will run. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to put this back in here because it won't load my save files if it's not in the correct directory. You guys need to remember that. Go ahead and click X on that. Okay, now that you know how to get your ROMs and you guys have downloaded them and gotten them nice and organized if you feel like it, go and open up your Project 64 go to options and click on configure controller plugin now if you haven't plugged in your xbox controller to your computer before it's going to automatically install two drivers for it i don't remember the names for them but it's not that important just make sure that it does update your drivers and you won't be able to move your mouse around and all that i mean there's a way to do it but those drivers won't do it what you want to do is, is click on the controller options and it'll be scrolled over none whenever you first click on it Go ahead and click that after your drivers are installed and click on controller Xbox 360 for Windows. Make sure, and a lot of people mess up on this, I know I did too, make sure this box right here that says controller is plugged in is checked. Go ahead and go through and configure all your controls. Click the little boxes and then take your controller and click which button you'd prefer to have under the directory. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and click OK down here and if you guys want to plug in other controllers just go ahead and do the same over here I can do a quick demonstration for you and uh, I don't have another controller plugged in right now but if I go ahead and go back here you can go ahead and configure all your joysticks and buttons and everything and that's how that works I'm gonna go ahead and go back here click none and set up my old configuration and click OK Next thing you want to do is click File, Open ROM, go to your correct file directory. Mine's going to go ahead and open up my ROM files since I've been opening them all up from here. Click on the ROM that you want to load. Mine's Legend of Zelda, so should yours be if that's the one you downloaded. Go ahead and give you guys a quick little demonstration of it. You can full screen this if you prefer. I don't usually like running it like that because whenever you exit out of full screen it can kind of lag up com your computer just a little bit but other than that it's not a big deal 
I'd love to show you my controller right now, but I don't want to record on my webcam. But I'll go ahead and show you some gameplay really quick. And this is me, if you can hear. Messing around on my joysticks. It runs fairly fast, to tell you the honest truth. I haven't had any uh, frame rate errors that are noticeable. Uh, a lot of the times when you walk around on the paths over here, uh, they will disappear. As you can see, this one down here should, yeah, it'll disappear when you walk down to it. Other than that, everything runs great. As you can see down in here in your lower corner, it'll be running around 60 frames per second. Most ROMs are required to work at that speed. That's the speed it works on on the actual N64. So if you're running that fast, everything should be all good. The only problem is just slight graphical errors with terrain blending. And uh, that's my tutorial for the day for you guys. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more lately. Also, for all you people that want to edit things and work on your video editing, me and a friend of mine, Sheldon the Great, you can go ahead and check out his channel. Uh, we're going to be merging our accounts and I'm going to be doing hacking tutorials with a few editing tutorials and he's going to be teaching you guys how to use the programs that I show you how to download and uh, keygen and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this does work quite well. Uh, you might want to work on your controller figuration a little bit but as you can see everything is working smoothly. Alright you guys, well uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoy. I'll be coming out with another one here in just a little bit. Thanks a lot.